we are gonna be building the sickest gaming room on the block. Now, unfortunately, my wife was right. Our plan of doing it with a virtualized gaming server is not gonna work. Not because we couldn't get the tech right, we totally had it, it was totally working, but because of anti-cheat. So we're gonna have to have dedicated gaming boxes for each of the five stations. Or are we? Oh, I've got some really cool stuff to show you guys with like DisplayPort KVMs and fiber optic cables and, and gaming RGB. The whole video is brought to you by Govi. We're gonna be tricking the room out and I'll be doing all of it with the help of my wife's husband's boyfriend. Your, your what? Our second son. What? They meme, I'm memeing. Okay, okay, fine. All right, let's do this. <laughs> This is the current state of the land room. I borrowed a couple of laptops from work so that my kids could play Minecraft, but other than that, it's pretty much just desks. Now they're pretty amazing desks. These are butcher block that was sanded and finished with a Danish oil. And if I do say so myself, I did a great job. You did a great job, okay. What? The last time I felt them, they felt like crap. Did you touch them up? That great feels job. awful. What? What did you sand this with? Why don't you just get your MacBook out of my gaming center? <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe just Dan will help today. Yeah, we got Dan helping. Okay, I'll just go home. Yeah, I could finish your desks for you. Look, I did the same finish on my desk in my apartment with a hand sanding block in like a day, and it feels way better. One desk. I don't have seven it's the days. It's like one and a half of those. And I hand Easy sanded solution. It. I hand sanded. Easy it. solution. LTTstore.com? Yeah. Okay. What are you guys even bringing in here? You need headsets. Catch. Ah, you need. I'm, I'm not, not going to throw this one at you because you'll die, but. It's metal, right? Yeah, that's right. The actual keyboards we were intending to use in the LAN center, everything was supposed to be Logitech Pro. Oh. But um, we stole them for the Whale LAN PCs. Oh. So instead, we have these. Keychron ones, they cool. are actually probably like a little bit higher end than those technically speaking. Cool. It used to be that non-cherry switches just used Here, the cherry color catch. scheme, but I don't think that is necessarily the case anymore. More! Wow, why would you do that? Why are you throwing more? What is with, these are really valuable mice. Yeah, they're great. Man, this is gonna be the most tricked out gaming setup. G Pro super lights all around. Oh, should I do some RGB? I mean, that's that's all you need for it to be a gaming room is RGB, right? Yeah, what all did Govi send over? I actually uh, have not seen any of this A little yet. bit of everything. So this is just like a lamp. I was thinking we put this in the corner. It's an RGB IC, so that's floor like a, a dressable RGB for the PC Ooh. gamers. Uh, floor lamp, yeah. Oh, that can, we can put it in that corner. Yeah, I have two. Oh. We can put one in both corners. Put one in that corner too. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of cute actually. I mean, there is some assembly required for this this light, but at least in this capacity, they can ship it in a small box like this, not a giant box, not LTTstore.com. Wait, darn it, we're gonna be shipping this thing soon. We okay. gotta show okay, it. Okay, okay, is that just the strip? Yeah. Oh, cool. I kinda thought it would be uh, stiff. Yeah, well there's this, this like track for it. I already mentioned that the virtualized gaming rig that was supposed to power all five of those stations, it's out, it's done. Thank you, anti-cheat, and unfortunately, the individual rack mount gaming machines are not ready yet, but I do have something really cool to show you guys. Once those are in, my kids and their friends are gonna be able to fire up any games they want like they're at a freaking LAN cafe. But I might wanna use them too, right? And as you can imagine, I don't wanna share my machine with my kids' friends for obvious privacy reasons. So we've got a really cool solution to that. Because my gaming rig and my wife's gaming rig are already down here in the mechanical room anyway, and then wired upstairs through fiber optic cables, what would prevent us from wiring them up to the LAN room as well? The answer is nothing. That is where this comes in. Now don't get me wrong, we make some pretty cool stuff on LTT Store, but Wendell from Level 1 Tech's lineup of DisplayPort KVMs is freaking sick. The guy wrote custom firmware for these bad boys so that they can do USB 10 gig and DisplayPort 1.4 up to 8K 60 frames per second to two stations. So I just put this bad boy here, plug it into my machine and one of our LAN machines, and when I'm in the LAN center, I can just 
flip between them. The kid's friends are over, beep, beep. Okay, you're using the generic one. I'm using it. I just use my gaming rig with all my files exactly where I want them. Wow, light. All right, that's cool. Oh, this one also has um, warm and cool white LEDs, which is nice. Oh, nice. So it's not just like that blue you get from mixing all the RGB. Give me rainbow. I want rainbow now. Yes! Should we fire back at the wall or should we come just straight out? And no, I it? think fire at the wall. Yeah, okay. Now I just get to, now I just gotta build the other one. Argaba. If you don't want to use your phone, Linus, it's got a little like, just sticking on there and it's a little magnet. Oh, cool. I don't know that I would want it up there at the top, but. Well, that's where it's going for now. Okay, perfect, thank you. Hold on a second, what's going on here? Are we going to put these over in there and use like docks here, like for today? Like we haven't even tested the fiber optic cabling in the walls. I mean, we could do a, a couple. You wanna do all of them? I wanna know if it works. Also, Dan, did you just put the power play mats over top of the LTT desk pad? PowerPlay is super cool. This is Logitech's mouse pad that continuously charges your mouse while you're just using it forever. It's amazing. You just never ever charge your mouse. I just want them to do the same thing for their wireless keyboards so that you don't have to like charge your wireless keyboard. Now I'm thinking long term, uh, we could cut out like a piece of acrylic that's that thick, that's the same size as the mouse pad, and then you'd kind of have a, a section for it. In the meantime, there can just be a hump. You won't allow it. Not with the, the end. The, yeah, move it up to the corner. Yeah, you gotta go at least to the corner. <laughs> Before I can show you guys that KVM in action, I need to set up my station starting with the monitor. This is the VG27A from ASUS, and it's basically the gaming monitor that I would have given my left testicle for, you know, like five years ago. It's 165 hertz, 1440p, IPS, G-Sync certified. What is there to not like? And the $300 sticker price even includes a height adjustable stand. Take that, Apple. I really hope this works. Theoretically, every one of these DisplayPort wall plates is wired back to the server room and it should just be as simple as plugging in my machine and the monitor lights up. Theoretically. <laughs> Nothing's ever simple. Now I just have to figure out which from this rat's nest of wires is that state. Oh, oh, they're labeled. Okay, maybe this will be easy. I'm gonna guess that five is that one. Of course not. What happened? On the one hand, I'm upset that the monitor didn't light up, but on the other hand, I feel great about being right that it wasn't gonna be easy. Um, Got all these like weird profiles. What I need about a DP cable. Ra rainbow mode? Oh, a, where are we doing it? Mmm, rainbow. That looks RGB, right? Is that RGB enough for you, Linus? Well, Jake fulfills our sponsor requirements. <laughs> I am going to take David's suggestion, really good idea, David, and I'm going to plug in this monitor and see if this one lights up. That'll tell us if they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Crap! Hey, look at these things. I wonder if we could make an LTT out of these. You think we could do it? I don't think it's worth it. You don't think it's worth it? Nope. What would you rather it say, Linus? No. Do you think we can? <laughs> <laughs> Why are those the only two options? I don't know. You named the company Couldn't Linus Media Group and cool... Linus Tech Tips and LTT. Couldn't it just be a cool geometric shape? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Okay. An L is a shape. Yeah, let's oh do a big God. L. Yeah, for Levon. Great idea, Dan. Oh, beautiful. It's an L for narcissist. Oh, baby. How's oh, that, David? That Does that look f awful? Yep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> This is a big L, I'll take it. You're taking it right now, clearly. We made that L out of Govi's Glide wall lights. They're the most popular product in Govi's Glide series of lights and support the full rainbow of color options, dynamic scenes, Alexa and Google Assistant control, and they can even sync to music. They are all wired up and none of them are picking up a signal. Okay, here. He did the same thing he did upstairs where he used these long female to female things. We have couplers. Mm. This is not a coupler. Yeah, I gave him both. And clearly, yeah, he just- Why it. use this? Well, because this is all they had at the start and then they got me the right ones. But then I guess, yeah. Okay. Did you try the couplers upstairs? Yeah, they And they work. work fine? Yeah. So where are the couplers? I don't know. Let's just run the cable to start, right? Just to see, yeah. Dan, come on, man. <laughs> don't bully Linus, okay? He's a good boy. What are the odds the command strip? Oh, nice. 
it's just such a small thing, but the quality of life improvement of hanging these with a command strip pre-applied versus having to stick them on somewhere yourself. It's legendary. really good, isn't it? So nice. Oh, they, oh, kinda, little... they sit off the wall a little bit too. Let me see this. Oh my God, is it bendy? It's bendy and oh, it's like diffused. Yes. Yo, should I put these in the middle of my weird things? Or are we gonna put them somewhere else? I don't know, I think we need to oh make God. a shape out of it. Look at this guy, swoops in at the last second to grab all the glory and plug in the cable. Exactly. Who took the plate off? Me. While you're working on that, Dan, can I ask oh some God. questions? Yeah, go for it. Why do you have the power play mats under to the side? These mouse pads are, they're portrait. Does it matter? Yeah, nobody does well, now that. You, now you don't have a lump. Portrait mouse pad? You get portrait mouse pad or you get lump. Yeah, no. this is actually smart. I'm just, no. What? No, it's just gonna go here. Wait, wait, wait. What? Hold on, no, I see a monitor. The power is unplugged. Are you serious It was right like, now? Pull, it was pulled out. Wait, is it plugged in on the bottom? Who moved it? Did someone unplug this monitor? Dan? 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 Did you unplug this monitor to meme your freaking RGBS? <laughs> I'm just testing. Hold on, I'm just gonna, I, I can try some stuff. Oh my God, it's this one. It's this one. Wait, what? What the hell? It's working through the coupler. What number is this though? Uh, it's either five or one, I can't remember. This is five or yeah, one? Yeah, it's certainly not, this should be three. What, no matter how you remember it. It could be like one, two, three, four, five, maybe? What? I don't know. No. This is why I unplugged the monitor, so you figured it out. Yo, thanks, Dan. You're welcome. The plot thickens. Not only is number five in the middle of the room, there's a number six. Where does number six go? There isn't a sixth station. It gets even better. There's a not numbered one. I am so confused right now. These things are a little tricky to figure out how to lay out. Um, there's not a lot of flexibility because it's all straight lines. I mean, a lot of people aren't gonna want this look. We're kind of thinking maybe it just comes up and then goes over. I found it. The master key that should tell me where everything runs to. So there's one of the patch panels. There's other more different patch panel. Where's the display port? Display port's not on here. Actually, neither is anything else other than ethernet. Oh, no, Dan. Nothing, nothing, it's all fine. Dan, no. Oh, he's gonna find out. No, no, grab a hex panel. We could, we could put the other RGB, yeah, like going the other way. That's a perfect idea. Not sus at all. Oh my God. You noticed immediately. Yeah, it's not great. No. I did this on purpose, specifically to spite him. <laughs> nope. No, no. For those wondering, the Jerry Rig Everything Knife is really sharp. Can confirm. And this is going this great, you guys. Cool. This is going great. Thanks. Man. I think so too. I can't put into words how thrilled I am with this. <laughs> About what? There's no problems at all. You can't even see it. It's covered up by I the other. I think I could express it in math though. They have negative numbers, right? Yeah. Ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah, baby. Okay, this is four. And that's working. What? What is this numbering scheme? Cause I'm pretty sure this one was like two or something. Dan, I need your help. Oh, oh. just do your thing. Keep ruining my walls. I have three display ports plugged in and not a single one of these is lit up. We know these three. I already have these three labeled. Okay, but how is there three other ones then? There's only five. Oh, I know. Um, there's two, remember, for the KVM. Oh, so I guarantee you, remember, because we needed two for the KVM to work, right? So there's definitely two just stuffed in this access panel, I guarantee it. Did you ever try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Cause I did. Hi, can I Didn't help you? These should be symmetrical. We got two kits. Symmetrical. We're kind of thinking it comes off of here and goes up. Sure. I mean, then again, this is the same team that brought you uh, <laughs> ripping the paint off. Double, mobile. double wide. Heck yeah. All right. Um, now I need someone to holler at me when it turns off. Cause I have three cables plugged into this thing. It's still on. One. Off! Oh, that was it? Oh, wow, that was good. This means, oh my goodness, this means the only remaining part of this mystery, while well, we come down here and appreciate that it's bathed in the glow of our RGB light from Govi, thank you Govi for sponsoring this video, is our 
the two extra display ports, actually, and here, I just unplugged the sponsor's light. Nice. Two extra fibers, two extra display ports, and the labels for the extras are one and two. <laughs> Why would you have the ones that go into a hole in the wall be one and two? That would be, that would be six and seven on the planet that I'm from, but that's okay. I'm sticking it, F it, that's where it's going. Okay, now we just gotta get a level. Just chilling It's going in. great, we're making patterns on the wall. Mm-hmm, yep, very nice, love it. <laughs> These things are super cool. They do USB one, two, and three, which is more difficult than you'd think, over fiber. So you plug in all your peripherals, your keyboard, your mouse, your headphones, blah, blah, blah. You put that next to your monitor. And then this box plugs into the host computer somewhere the frick else, like really far away. And then you can connect it using any generic fiber optic cable. So you can use OM3 or OM4. Uh, this is multi-mode fiber and it has an LC connector on it right here. And it's gonna work as long as the ones on the wall aren't broken. Oh, cool, there is a way to fix the orientation. Oh, nice. uh, a lot of the designs show them like this, and we have them like this. But luckily, it knows that. You just click 30 degrees, boom. It actually tells you what port you need to plug it in, because it does sort of matter. There's an input port, and then the rest of the ports you use don't matter, but you kind of need to know where your next hex goes, and the app tells you which port to plug it into, depending on the design you've made in the app which we didn't do ahead of time. It would have saved us probably a few minutes at least. <laughs> Next panel. So this is just checking to make sure it's right. That's right. Oh right, right, right. Correct, correct, correct. Yay! Woo. Are your lights correctly calibrated? Yes. Oh, oh look at that. that's sick. The lights you're seeing here are Govi's Glide Hexa lights. They're fully customizable to any shape you can dream up in hex form, can display anything from sick rainbow gamer RGB to soothing static colors, and like the majority of Gobi's lineup, are more affordable than similar products from other companies. Dan, where, where did Dan go? I swear to God, who plugs, a, who plugs a wall board into a power strip like this? Last time I unplugged anything, you yelled at me, so. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. What do you mean unplug? I didn't plug this in. Look, what he's saying is you're a bully. You're bullying him, and I will not stand for it. I will not Dan for it. How's it going? That looks high refresh, right? That's it. What did you have to do? I, dis I disabled the other monitor, and you know what I think it is? That other monitor is a TV right now. It's connected via HDMI. This is awesome. Okay, can you switch though? I, that I don't know. What's this the hotkey? This doesn't even have a scroll lock button. Oh God. Bloody hell. Both left control. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work. Jake, you stand oh, you here and tell me if it's- credit for this what? idea. He didn't film what I just said. I'm, d I'm not taking credit for You're the idea. You're taking credit for my idea. No, I'm we not. We should go test the keyboard to make sure that we actually need to use that port is what I said. Yes. Yeah. You stand so go here try. and tell me if it's- Okay, go Who's ahead. even issuing go instructions ahead. You here. can see, there's an LED on the front. You can see if it worked. This goes to the monitor in the LAN room. This goes to the, what will be the, like the LAN gaming PC. This goes to my machine. And then basically the two displays, the one up there and the one there are plugged separately into my machine then, either through the KVM or directly, and then they're just cloned in Windows so that whenever I switch over to my computer over there, they're just cloned. And you know, yeah, someone sitting up there could see what game I'm playing or whatever, but it's my own home. Like it's, there's, there's not a privacy concern there. The concern that we do have is that it seems like your keyboard and mouse have to be plugged into these console ports. Let's see if this works. Control, control, two. Oh. Why am I doing this? I'm just gonna call Wendell. Hello? Hello, Hello. sir. Is this, is this level one tech support? Do, do, do you manufacture KVMs? <laughs> I do. <laughs> nice, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, hey man, I got a quick question. You know how there's the HID ports on the KVM? and they say to plug the keyboard and mouse in there. Yep. What if I only live once and I wanna plug my keyboard and mouse into a hub that goes into the USB-C console port? Uh, it would be, there's probably USB-A. So there's C on the back, 
the C on the back is for is the, the output, and there's yeah. a USB three port on the front and the rear. Yeah. And that's where you want to use a hub if you're going to use a hub. Okay, but will the are the the shortcuts supposed to work like Control Control one and two and all that nonsense? If I don't use the HID no, ports? No, on the USB three port. So you get into weird problems. This is why KVM suck usually. Is usually if you sniff the if you sniff the protocol, um, it will it will interfere with some protocols because it doesn't know if it's a keyboard or whatever else. So the hit ports sniff and the non hit ports don't sniff. Got it. So the answer then is no. I cannot plug my keyboard and mouse into the USB three port. If you want the keyboard shortcuts. I've got some extenders that are coming. I'm doing the HD, if you want to look it up, it's HD, uh, HD base T. It's a standard from the HDMI people, but it'll do USB and HDMI and everything over Cat6, even up to USB 2.0 and a little bit. We can almost call it USB 2.1, but not quite. Oh, I, but I have Cat6 to each of these. And I'm Wait, not yeah, using you, them. Oh my gosh, we could totally use the ethernet. We could just use the ethernet for a USB extension. Yes. We don't even have to use Wendell's thing. We can just buy something else. Sorry, Wendell. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's fine. It's, 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 it's USB over Cat6, the thing, and that will work fine. I didn't even think of that. Freaking genius. Man, dude, I love you. You know what? That's... I'll say it. <laughs> Awkward. I do my best. So we just need Ethernet to USB. Yes. To make a little... You could probably find a numpad that would work, or something like that. Yeah. This is awesome! Hey, where's the other RGB? The thing is... Let's do it. We have some questions. We so have we had the, the loosey goosey one. The one thing to consider with these ones is yeah. they don't have command strip mounts. They're like 3M double sided tape. So if we put it on the wall, it's staying in that configuration. I was kind of thinking, what if we just put it along the back of the desk? Mm. Or on the top of the desk even, because it's diffused, it looks nice. We also have a really long one we could put around the edge of the room. Really? We have some standard RGB strips as well. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Is that the one? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool. This one looks sick. Uh, it's a backlight, like an ambiance thing that takes whatever's on your screen and displays it on the wall behind it. Oh, I've seen that kind of thing before. It actually is like pretty cool. The only thing is it's oh. a very dark wall. And you guys already put a bunch of RGB back there. Oh, we'll have more different More RGB. RGB. Well, the reason that this kit is good, if you're gaming, Latency is a big problem, right? Yeah. You want to keep your latency low. So most kits are a pass-through, and you put a little hub in the middle that captures the color data. That's going to add latency. This kit it has a camera. This is a camera. And these have little stands too, so you don't even have to what like- What are these? These are the uh, lights. You don't have to take no, there's oh my light. goodness. No, 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 there, is, there is more light. No, there's, there's more. So yeah. there's, what? there's oh, yeah, lights there for the back of the monitor, and there's two little light bars. This is amazing. So you're supposed to make a shape out of it. Oh, I see. And so you they, could like... Yeah, you can make like whatever. A, oh, okay. So we could do like a heart, you know, like a live, love, laugh style. Live, love, of, live, love, love meow. I'm thinking just like something kind of like funky and abstract or something. I don't know. Yeah, are you busy? You know, just working on accounting. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Just come help. I mean... You don't need to account. I don't need to get paid. It's fine. You don't need to get paid? No. Okay, sure. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I mean, Dan doesn't need to get paid. So there's like... I was thinking like... Guys? Like some kind of like abstract squiggle doodad on here, on that wall. We could put the, the monitor RGB around Yoda. What? Wait, oh, we could RGB Yoda. Yeah. Yes. We could RGB literally anything else. RGB Yoda. Anything else you want. No RGB Yoda. I thought that was your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you said last time. That's what I said last time. Painted yeah. by my aunt. Yes. I met her. She's, She's here, by the way, so she... I met her. She was lovely. Like, I know. Her. Her face. You told her her painting was awful. Okay, so Jake's doing a weird squiggly pattern. Um, good luck. Well, unless, Yvonne, uh, you have a better idea. I don't right now, but... See you later. I don't know if I want to commit to a weird squiggly That's what's oh, going on your wall. super committed because when you pull things off, it, like, takes off the paint. Oh, that looks kind of cool. It's like That's EL it. wire. It's kind of... Oh, man. If we had more time, we could totally, like, make it... It's sound reactive. Look at that. Woo! I like it. <laughs> How do you do crab rave? Should we give it a little bit of thought first? Like, are we? Well, I'm going to start it here, right where that I just stuck that one. Mm, wait, what? That's where it's starting. We are supposed to be done shooting this video in about 20 minutes. How's that going, everybody? We will be done in 20 minutes. That is not the most symmetrical thing I've ever seen, Dan. Neither am I. Can I just say that this looks freaking awesome? 
Did anyone else actually step back and have a look at this yet? This no, is we've amazing. All, we've been putting RGB on the wall, thank you very much. Man, what a day. Which actually reminds me, we're doing an exclusive series on floatplane.com, a day in the life of. I think the first one's gonna be Riley, where yeah. basically like they just follow him around with the camera, see yeah. what he does all day. Yeah. I'd be curious to know what people do all day around here. And this is not a great game to demo this with. It's all just the same colors for the most part. Hey, there's different colors. Look, it's like all like gold and stuff. Is this a bad guy? I actually don't. You know. have gray and light gray, apparently. <laughs> and Killed gold gray. Video gamer. And blue gray. Yeah. What do you guys think? That's What's your favorite color? Everything. Everything? Okay, well that's the color you got right now, so you're good. Really? That's it? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gobi. Gobi has a wide range of products, including their wall lights, hexalites, LED strips, floor lamps, and much more. They're pretty affordable compared to the competitors, and they look awesome. Many of their lights, including their Glide series, are even Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled for smart functionality, so check out the links in the description for where you can buy your very own Gobi lights. Kids, it looks cool, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Kid approved. Also, they're pretty affordable compared to their competitors, and I, I, you know, I think they look pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe go check out uh, hmm, previous house video. Maybe the one where we set up this room and then proceeded to totally trash it in this video, which I'm, is great. I'm so glad I wasn't here for that. Thanks. Thanks.